G'day viewers, well I'm going to have to mod this setup here on the air tank. I'd be better off and more safer putting this um, pop valve right there. That damn fitting's got a crack in it so it's been leaking a little bit. It's dropped 10 psi pressure so I'm going to stick at this duct valve there. Now after the 970 kPa it's calibrated to, that's like 142 or 143 psi, I don't need it that much. I might have to lower the pressure down a little bit. It's about here somewhere. 900's there, so 970 is about here. I have to calibrate this to 120 psi, this pop valve. Then put it there, next to the gauge, so it's all nice and neat. Got the same type of fitting, take that out, screw it in there. Now I'm going to fix this up, solder that properly. But I do not have a valve like these things have a little um, head pressure dump valve. I don't got one for that. That's the only thing I'm missing is a head pressure relief valve. That's the only thing I need for the sake of the compressor so they can last longer. But um, within 10 or 20 seconds all the head pressure's already escaped so might not need one. But here I've got a weak, weak point. I'll have to um, heat this junction up and get it to Put some more solder on there. Then I dump this tank, get all the pressure out, and we'll stick this dump valve in. We'll have to get that calibrated to exactly 120 psi for safety. That's just the charging. This is just manually charged by the way. I don't have an automatic cutoff pressure valve for here. I'm just going to use it manually charge it, shut it off manually. If it gets too high a pressure that will pop open. We'll install that here. So yeah, so I can't have a pressure I'll have calibrate it to the right pressure I need, install it and have a cutoff, like I've done with this one. Got a good pressure cutoff on here. So yeah, gotta fix this junction. Okay viewers, well I soldered that. That's all fixed. It doesn't leak a bit now, so so yeah. Now I gotta dump the tank pressure down. Stick this with the elbow, replace it with that fitting which is cracked. And yeah, calibrate the pot valve to 120 psi. I go a tiny bit more so it allows it to seal shut at that pressure. If it goes past that pressure, it will start to open. It won't go past that pressure. So, so yeah. The only thing I don't have is a low pressure cutoff like these switches have. So, kind of snook good for low pressure, head pressure dumping. This is only just a temporary thing where I just screw it on, open the valve, charge the tank, shut it off, and bring the tank out in the field to pump tyres and stuff up. But I have a high pressure valve in there for extra safety. So it cuts it off at the right pressure and they, they won't have to put any more pressure in the tank than what I actually need. So yeah, let's get these um, fittings on. Okay viewers, one major drawback with this damn thing, I have not got on one of these to fit here because I would have had one of these calibrated to um, the same pressure the tank would have been filled at and install it here so it also relieves back pressure off this if I shut the valve and it will stop the compressors and building up too much pressure but unfortunately these two are the only ones I have and this one's a too big a fitting I use it on this tank and this one here is only um, fits this sort of thing so I need one that's small enough to go to a little connector and I can screw it on here and have it go in here but I don't have one, that's that size unfortunately, so I'm going to have to be very careful here when charging and just shut the compressors off and then quickly shut the tap off in that order so I don't build up any head pressure and don't, yeah, make anything too dangerous here, so let's charge up. Yeah, if I shot that, there's nothing to relieve the pressure, so I've got to try and work out of some sort of... I might find something similar to this I could put there, but I don't know. We'll see. i be very careful when I um, use this damn thing. It's designed just a transportable tank. And that'll just be um, just a quick charge it.
Okay, well, care of yours. That's calibrated there. Tiny bit tighter there, and that will just seal it and hold it above, slightly above 120. About 123. Allow for leakage. There you go, so that will pop at about 125 kilo, uh, PSI mark. And it will drop back as it hits 120, it will be a complete seal. Keep the tank at that pressure, but won't put anything over that. That's my bit of, little bit of safety margin there. I'll tighten this nut up. But, again, I need another one of these for here. So if I was to shut this off, it would, a pop valve will pop here. But unfortunately, you don't have another one of these. There's no leaks. I could just check for leaks. No leaks. That's good. Get a little shifter here. We'll tighten this little this nut up. That's it. I can just touch that, lift it. Yeah, that's perfectly calibrated there. Handle see so I can carry it. Head pressure's all gone, it just leaks out of here, the head pressure, so that's it, she's all done. That's my major damn concern with this compressor bank. I need to put a safety pop valve here and a check valve here, be good, instead of just a manual shut off valve. So if the tank gets to 120, I calibrate it so it, yeah, the lowest cut out to be 120, but hits 125 for safety margin, it'll pop open and shut off, and that'll just pop, so it'll make it any higher than that. Just act like that and keep the tank at that pressure, but we'll not go past 125. I've got a 5 psi safety margin, so yeah, just so that can seal. I keep the tank at peak pressure, but not so not too low. So anything that I get, check valve. Uh, that's the only thing I haven't got. Instead of using this, I would have used a check valve, but yeah, that's my drawback. Is that a manual tap instead of a check valve and a dump valve for their major safety concern there? But anyway. For this half of it, I've got a good dump valve which works, so I can't over pressurise the tank. Plug my hose in there, carry it by the handle, bring it out in the field, plug my air hose in. I don't know if I change a car wheel or something, you run an air tool or a rattle gun, something like that, to run off this. Or if I wanted to, instead of using that, I could put some other fitting on here, charge it from another air compressor. So I can charge it, that will cut off, and that will cut off, unplug it, and this will cut, keep the pressure below our critical level, so yeah, this is completely gone, it's flat, so I can start undoing that hose. So yeah, that's my number one safety concern with doing homemade air compressors, not having the right proper safety valves and stuff, which is a bit of a concern, but I was able to, um, as I'm saying, doing as I'm saying now, I'm just going to do it manually. As soon as it hits the right pressure, shut it off. But turn these off first, then shut that off for safety. Never the other way around, because I'll keep building that pressure. Then you wait a while so they can drop the head pressure with that off. When the head, head pressure is completely gone, then take the hose off. And do the same before restarting, if you wanted to stop and come back later. But yeah. Now if I walk away or something, this is charging the tank up, this is going to cut off. So that's a good thing. So yeah, that's my little backup. I can use this as a backup air tank, plug another air compressor into there, as a secondary tank if I wanted to. As a fridge compressor, just a nice little hobby air compressor and port a whip tank of air on the go. This is perfect, so. So I should have done in the first place, have this here, instead of just having that JMAC there. Safety valve is the best thing you can put on this. And there's a high pressure um, galvanised fitting, so I'm not going to get anything higher than that for safety. Harder than 20, but a normal air compressor, what you'd normally put in an air compressor, so that's safety, so that's been calibrated, that's done. Yeah, it'll leak a tiny bit, but that's perfect, that's how it should be. It should leak a tiny bit. And that's how it's supposed to go, so yeah. Other than this, and a little 
having, having, not having a check or, or a dump valve. Other than that, it's pretty well done. I'll try and look for another one of these valves if I can to put on here. But I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching.